Okay, we've found our A inverse matrix, and a couple of these fractions can clearly be reduced. Turns out that if we reduce uh, 12 over 188, uh, we get 3 over 47. And if we reduce 20 over 188, we get 5 over 47. So I've written the inverse matrix, and it's reduced uh, with, with the fractions reduced to lowest terms. Now, as we saw previously, <coughs> our original system can be written as a matrix equation. Uh, where the x vector is xy and the y vector is negative 5, 12. And the solution to the system is for the x vector, the xy uh, column vector, to equal a inverse times our y vector. So we write our a inverse vector, we have our y vector, and we're going to multiply the a inverse vector by the y vector. And you should do this. Um, pause, do this, see if you come up with the same thing I do. I'm going to go ahead now. Um, 3 over 47 times negative 5 is negative 15 over 47. And then we add 7 over 47 times 12, and that's 84 over 47. Then 5 over 47 times negative 5 is negative 25 over 47. Negative 4 over 47 times 12 is negative 48 over 47. And these are easily added. Then we get uh, 69 over 47. And here we get uh, negative 73 over 47. So, well, this a inverse y, well, it's x equals a inverse y. We're trying to solve for the x vector. And we've done so. The x vector is this. Now, what's the x vector? The x vector stands for the xy column. So that um, xy equals 69 over 47, negative 73 over 47. So x equals 69 over 47, y equals negative 73 over 47. And I believe this agrees with the solution we obtained earlier using determinants.